Mmm, I love chocolate. Let me take that back. I hate chocolate. All right, let's head in and see what's being done to cacao today. Why don't I like chocolate? Well, let's take a look. Green nutrition label, 30 grams of sugar for 53 grams of chocolate. How about we try another one? Can you count all of the ingredients and chemicals in the back of this package? Well, this is not food, it's a science experiment. All right, let's go. And against these, we will be testing the cacao bar, which is our bar. All right, so we got all our stuff. Uh, so first we have here is the sugar, the additives inside chocolate. So we got cane sugar, we got allulose and uh, coconut sugar. And then we have our chocolate. So we got uh, Reese, we have the Mars, and then we have the cacao bar. So we'll do about 50 grams of the sugar, about 85 grams of the chocolate. Uh, one a day for six days, so let's see what happens. All right, so this has just come in the mail. Well, we're gonna run a little experiment on my body, so let's get this blood glucose meter on. Oh, that wasn't bad at all. All right, let's get some guidance for this test. So let's go to the Mayo Clinic's website so we understand what is healthy and what is unhealthy. So for the numbers, fasted blood sugar uh, with no food, 5.6 is normal, 5.6 to 6.9 is pre-diabetic, 7 plus is diabetic. Now over to Wikipedia, so we get a sense of a normal range during a day. As you can see on this chart, uh, two types of food, normal diet and a sugar-rich diet, but both of those uh, will stay within normal range of 4 to 6.5. And from the Harvard School of Public Health, eating many high glycemic index foods, which cause powerful spikes in blood sugar, can lead to an increased risk for type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and overweight. This is just wild to see the results, right? This is crazy, crazy stuff. And for only 50 grams, it's sort of the amount you'd find in one chocolate bar or a bottle of soda. It's really eye-opening to see what happens inside your body. And this is not healthy at all. What we saw from before uh, was that healthy limit is somewhere between uh, four and 6.5. That's sort of your daily up and downs. But here you can see the craziness starts off at five, but you get a massive spike up to 11.1 and then turns around and crashes all the way down to three. And you know, this sort of stuff happening inside your body is not good at all. These numbers are not good as well. You know, normally coconut sugar is sold as a healthy alternative to cane sugar, but as you can see, it's not in the slightest. Don't let companies trick you. This is not healthy at all. So you see from a normal baseline of five, spikes up to about 8.7, crashes down to 2.9 on the other side. Very similar to sugar. perfectly flat. Nice to see a healthy reaction for once. Ilos is definitely the clear winner. Yeah, this whole experience has been really eye-opening just to see, you know, what happens inside your body when you take some of these sugars and to watch in real time how the sugar just ruins your body at just a teeny tiny amount of it. And this was only 50 grams. If you take a look at the chart, you can see the highs, lows, and range of the three sweeteners. And the results are pretty easy to see. Massive spikes and drops for cane sugar and coconut sugar, 
a real unhealthy roller coaster for your body and allulose nice and flat so what is allulose and why does it get no reaction so allulose is a natural rare sugar, which is normally found in corn, beets, and a bunch of other veggies. But because it's a rare sugar, your body doesn't have the microbiome to process it. And so thus it just gets excreted and has very little to no calories. This is not a good reading as well. You see a big spike and crash. This bar really has 30 grams of sugar per 53 grams of bar. It's really just a sugar stick with flavors in it. Now this is way outside the healthy range. And here we have another bad result. This is basically a sugar and palm oil smoothie with a little bit of cacao and peanuts for flavoring. You see a nice spike here as well. Ah, now here's one that's perfectly flat. No issues with blood glucose at all. And that's a full 85 grams consumed, which by the way, I wouldn't recommend eating in one sitting. If you love chocolate, then this combination, pure cacao and allulose is by far and away the best. All right, so if we sum all that up, you can see there is some wildly different results across the board. Now this chart is very obvious, but now you understand why I love and hate chocolate. The cacao bar on the right is perfectly flat versus the crazy swing for all the others. One of the mechanisms that contributes to this is the swings in blood sugar. Peter Atia, who is a medical doctor, says, high levels of blood glucose and the surges of insulin that the pancreas secretes to try and dispose of all that energy or store it as fat are strongly correlated with chronic disease. High glucose can damage blood vessels and arteries, leading to kidney disease, erectile dysfunction, blindness, and even dementia. High levels of insulin are strongly linked to obesity, and the hormone has an anabolic effect that could fuel certain cancers. It's almost assuredly why obesity is the second largest modifiable risk factor in cancer after smoking. All right, I'm gonna let you in on one of the dirty, dark secrets of the chocolate industry the more bar. These are the products that corporations design in a lab. They then test the bars to see which ones people overeat. And those are the products you end up seeing on the shelves. They are intentionally manufactured so you overeat and buy more. One of the interesting feelings from the test of just eating all this chocolate was that the Mars and Reese were finished in seconds and I didn't feel full at all. This is about 400 calories. To put that in perspective, the average calorie per day for women is about 2,000, 2,000 plus. So we're talking about 20% of your daily needs. But the cacao bar was harder to finish that quick as there's a feeling of fullness. And we do recommend only having a square or two today, not the entire thing. But this is really down to the actual ingredients in the different bars. Both the Mars and Reese are full empty calories and zero nutritional value whatsoever. You're basically eating sugar, seeds, oil, and a whole bunch of flavoring. Whereas the cacao bar has a high percentage of cacao and allulose. So the calories are coming from the cacao, which is real food with real nutrients in it. But you don't have to take my word for it. There are numerous well-done scientific studies on both ultra-processed food and chocolate. Uh, this is one uh, such well-designed study, summarized actually quite well by the Washington Post. But to the researchers' surprise, people ate substantially more calories when they were fed the ultra-processed foods. On average, they ate about 500 more calories per day. On the diets of ultra-processed foods, the participants quickly gained weight and body fat, but on the unprocessed homemade diet, the reverse happened. They lost weight, and they had a reduction in cholesterol and an increase in their levels of the appetite-suppressing hormone called PYY. 
they experience a drop in their levels of ghrelin, uh, which is what's known as the hunger hormone. So ultra processed foods have a very real cost uh, every single time you put them in your body and chocolate can be both good and bad. So be careful what you put in your body.